Welcome back. We are still on the topic statistics. In the previous video, we learned how to draw a cumulative frequency table and curve for a given distribution. In this video, we are going to apply what we studied in the previous video to solve a question. The question for this video is, the table below shows the percentage marks scored by some students in an examination. So in the table, we have the marks which are given to us in intervals and their corresponding frequencies. The first part of the question says that construct a cumulative frequency distribution table and use it to draw a cumulative frequency curve for the data above. The second part says that from your graph, estimate I, the lowest mark for distinction if 5% of the candidates obtained a distinction, and II, the number of candidates who passed if the pass mark was 30%. Let's begin with the first part of the question, constructing the cumulative frequency distribution table and using it to draw the cumulative frequency curve. As we learned from the previous video, a simple cumulative frequency distribution table will have four columns, max, frequency, max less than, and cumulative frequency. So we have the max here, we have the frequencies. The max less than are the upper class boundaries of each class. We have learned how to do that. The upper class boundary of 0 to 9 will be 9.5. That of 10 to 19 will be 19.5. That of 20 to 29 will be 29.5. And it continues for the remaining classes. So we have 39.5, 49.5, 59.5, 69.5, 79.5, 89.5, and 99.5. Let's move on to the cumulative frequencies. As we learned in the previous video, to get the cumulative frequency for a particular class, you add all the frequencies up to that class. The first frequency is 7, so it means that the, cumulative, the first cumulative frequency will also be 7. For the next class, the frequency is 11, so the cumulative frequency will be 7 plus 11, which will give us 18. The next frequency is 17, so the cumulative frequency will be 7 plus 11, which is 18, plus 17, which is 35. The next frequency is 20, so the cumulative frequency will be 7 plus 11 plus 17, which will give us 35. Then 35 plus 20, and that will give us 55. So to get the next cumulative frequency, we will add the frequency here, which is 29, to the previous cumulative frequency, which is 55. So 29 plus 55 will give us 84. The next one will be 34 plus 84, which will give us 118. The next one is 30 plus 118, which is 148. The next one is 25 plus 148 which is 173. The next one is 21 plus 173, which is 194. And the last one is 6 plus 194, which is 200. So we now have the max less than and the cumulative frequencies. We can plot them on the graph sheet and join the points to get our cumulative frequency curve. Let's do that. We have the graph sheet here. Remember that our uh, max less than will be on the horizontal axis and the cumulative frequencies will be on the vertical axis. Always make sure that you choose a scale such that the graph will cover a large space on the graph sheet. Let's plot the points. The first point is 9.57. When we plot that, we will have it here. The next one is 19.518. We have that here. The next one is 29.535. We have that here. The next one is 39.555. We have that here. The next one is 49.584. 
we have that here the next one is 59.5118 we have that here the next one is 69.5148 we have that here the next one is 79.5173 we have that here the next one is 89.5194 we have that here and the last one is 99.5200 we have that here the question said we should draw a cumulative frequency curve so we will join the points with our free hand to get the curve just as you can see here we have to choose a title for our graph the marks given to us are marks scored by students in an examination so my title will be a cumulative frequency curve showing the marks scored by some students in an examination we are going to use the curve to answer the remaining part of the question the first question we have is find the lowest mark for distinction if five percent of the candidates obtained a distinction five percent of the candidates obtained a distinction we should use the curve to find the lowest mark for distinction in terms of percentage the total number of students in the class will be 100 percent so if five percent obtained a distinction what it means is that 95 percent did not obtain a distinction remember that the total number of students in the class is 200 because when we did the cumulative frequency the last cumulative frequency is 200 it means that when we add all the students in the class we are going to have 200 so if 95 percent of the students did not obtain distinction we can find the number of students who did not obtain distinction because we know that 95 percent of them and the total number is 200 so you have 95 percent of 200 from percentages we know that this is equal to 95 divided by 100 times 200 and this will give us 190 so it means that 190 students did not obtain distinction to get the lowest mark for distinction what we will do is that we will locate 190 on the cumulative frequency axis we have that here 190 then we will trace it to the curve after that we will trace it from the point where it meets the curve to the horizontal axis and then read the mark there when i do that on my graph sheet i am having 86.5 we have the max less than on the horizontal axis so if 190 students did not obtain a distinction and 190 students corresponds to 86.5 percent what it means is that all the students who scored less than 86.5 percent which is the 190 students did not obtain a distinction it means that the lowest mark for distinction is 86.5 percent so if a student scores 86.5 percent or more then the student is said to have scored a distinction all those who scored marks less than 86.5 percent did not obtain a distinction so we can say that from the graph 190 corresponds to 86.5 percent therefore if five percent of the students obtain distinction then the lowest mark for distinction is 86.5 percent let's move on to the last part of the question it says that we should find the number of students who passed if the pass mark was 30 percent the pass mark was 30 percent so we should find the number of students who passed to do that we will first locate 30 percent on the horizontal axis so we look for 30 percent on the horizontal axis and then we will trace it to meet the curve then from the point where it meets the curve we will trace it to the vertical axis which is the cumulative frequency axis and read the value there 
when I read the value there, I'm having 36. So from the graph sheet, 30% corresponds to 36 students. What this means is that the students who scored max less than 30%, those, those who scored max less than the pass mark, which is 30%, is 36. And in an examination, if you score max less than the pass mark, it means you failed. So it means that if the pass mark is 30%, then 36 students failed. But we are not looking for the number of students who failed. We want the number of students who passed. We know that the total number of students in this class is 200. So if the total number of students is 200 and 36 of them failed, then it means that those who passed will be 200 minus 36, which is 164 students. So it means that if the pass mark is 30%, then 164 students passed. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to this channel for more videos. In the next video, we are going to solve another question on drawing a frequency distribution table and curve for a given distribution. Bye-bye.